almost all supercapacitors on the market use electrolytes based on organic solvents, and their working voltage is around 2.7, 2.8 volts. Water-based electrolytes, on the other hand, have better conductivity, but can withstand a voltage of only 1.1 to 1.2 volts. However, there is a way to overcome these limits. Just use concentrated electrolytes composed of water and high solubility salts. I will now mention some low-cost salts that can be used for this purpose. Sodium pechlorate, sodium nitrate, potassium acetate and ammonium acetate. The main characteristics of these salts, suitable for water and salt-based electrolytes, are visible on the screen. When making the supercapacitor, I decided to use a solution of 8 molar sodium pechlorate, 97.9 grams of sodium pechlorate, in 100 milliliters of solution. On the video that graph of the conductivity trend of three saline solutions as a function of their molarity. Materials used for the construction of the supercapacitor. Three graphite electrodes with aluminum collector. The preparation technique is described in my previous video. Electrodes for supercapacitors. Sodium pechlorate solution 8.13 molar in water. Two sheets of polyethylene. Two thin sheets of polypropylene nonwoven fabric. Two thick sheets of polypropylene nonwoven fabric. The first operation to be done is to build the double-sided electrode, as shown on the screen. Suitably prepared activated carbon is applied over the electrode.
it is left to dry for 24 hours, and then the treatment is repeated on the other side of the electrode. This is what the electrode looks like after 48 hours. And now the assembly of the capacitor.
the body of the supercapacitor is inserted between two polyethylene sheets, which are then heat sealed. The capacitor was charged at 2.5 volts. In the graph you can see the trend of the no load voltage over 24 hours. A constant current power supply, a multimeter and a stopwatch are required to measure the capacitance. First I adjust the power supply for a constant current of 0.1 amps. Then I connect the capacitor to the power supply and calculate the time it takes for the voltage of the capacitor terminals to rise from 0.5 volts to 1.5 volts. After 13 minutes the voltage rose to 147 volts. At 1.5 volts, the time is 14 minutes and 335 seconds, or 843.35 seconds. All that remains, is to enter the numerical values in the equation, visible on the screen, and you get the capacity, which is 84.35 farads. Now the test run under load, I use two small motors that draw an average current, of 40 mA. I also use a data logger to record the discharge curve. After 20 minutes, voltage equal to naught, 0.789 volt.
At 44 minutes, when the engine is stopped, the voltage recorded by the data logger is 0.49 volts. Thank you for your attention, to the next.